My name is Lee Smith. I work at Fraser Rehab Institute. I'm a physical therapist and I'm half time in the clinic and half time in research. So basically a quick tutorial of what we are doing here is right now you and I could walk down the hall and we could carry on a conversation together and we're not going to need to think about the biomechanics of walking. It's just going to happen on its own. And that's because a lot of these functions are driven at the spinal cord level. Anytime that you have a disruption between the brain and the spinal cord, you are left with um, one of five locomotor patterns, anywhere from having no activity at all to basically having the, the same amount of coordination at the knees and the ankles as a person that is non-disabled. So what we're trying to do here is try to reteach the spinal cord what it's like to walk again by giving it the right sensory information. And the sensory information we're giving it is load, how much, how much of their own body weight is going through their system. Speed, we try to walk them at pre-injury walking speeds. Kinematics, meaning uh, joint angles. So when your leg is swinging through the air, we want to make sure that it's flexed. When it's on the ground, we want to make sure it's extended. And then um, tactile sensory cues where we're actually touching the tendons that are responsible for flexion or extension depending on which phase of walking you're in, whether it's swing or stance phase. And what we need to be able to do is provide this in high repetition because the more times the spinal cord has the opportunity to see this correct information or, or retraining as we call it, the better the chance that, that it can remember what it's like in that um, inner neurons, so one nerve talking to another nerve, can reorganize themselves to have a more functional pattern. After the patient has been up on the treadmill from anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour, um, and they have had all this sensory input associated with walking coming into the system, the theory is that the spinal cord is at its most excitable state. So we want to take advantage of that and immediately get them off the treadmill and have them do overground tasks. This could be just trying to keep your trunk up straight if that's where you are in your recovery right now. It could be working on standing. It could be working on walking. And then the deficits that we saw up on the treadmill and we also saw overground, we devised a, a home exercise program for them to take out and to try to correct those deficits.